Anna Kramling invented the cow opening. So let's see if she can play it. So it starts with d3 and she is not playing along. Okay, and what if I go e3? Yes, and now we have the cow. Okay, now we want to move the knights here and somewhere here. But this is already the cow, so that's good. I don't know how to play it. Apart from that, I remember one thing. She played with Pia, the mother, Grandmaster Mother. There's a version to the mean, which happens when the children of intelligent people, for example, are not actually as intelligent as the parents. They revert to the mean. Same thing happens for stupid people. Uh, I'm playing chess and I'm explaining things here. <laughs> But stupid people instead their children revert back to the mean, so they're not stupid or they're actually usually more intelligent than her parents. Point is, uh, she's worse than her parents, she played her grandma's from over, and A4 was a move, so they don't get pushed and the knight doesn't get displaced. Now what? Well, I'd like to castle, I think. Okay, now what's her plan? She will attack here once she moves the spawn, and once she attacks the spawn, can I take? I can always, she can always take, but I take back, but the pawn structure then gets doubled and it's very ugly. We don't like that. If I push the spawn instead, she can take, I'll take, but she'll take back, then I'll take. So I could push the spawn. At this point I could. Then one, two, three defenders. She has one, two attackers. So I think it's safe. Okay, she takes. First of many captures. So I, that's positive. And it's always very <laughs> It's always very fun. Now what? I trade the knights? Does that favor me? I go here, she trades here, I take here, I have the center, and this knight is objectively not a very good knight, is actually standing better. I think I like that. Okay, she does not want to take, so my analysis was potentially correct. Now my castle, I'll have to take back with this pawn, obviously, because we're not uh, opening here. Well, we could, and then we're attacking the knight, and we could go here, but before that she could stop us. But we could go here anyway, and we're attacking this bishop, which is interesting. So I think I'll cast, and this should be okay. Okay, she's thinking ahead, but I'm banking on her taking it. If she doesn't, then that's a problem. She's preparing to attack my bishop twice, and then only have the queen. And her next move could be what? Take, but then I take, so she can't yet do that. So you might want to get rid of this knight eventually as a defender, so she can take here and put even more pressure on this bishop. But what should I do? I could move this bishop and just avoid the threat altogether. Go here, for example, very good this pawn, but when I'm blocking the communication between the queen and the pawn and the knight, which makes the placement of this knight more dangerous. But I can always support it like this, opening up, well this bishop is already open, never mind. Centralizing the rook wouldn't be a bad idea, but then if she does take, I do open up the king, and then there is little compensation I have, because there's no attack on the knight. I could attack this knight, and then I would either double her pawns, in this pawn on defended, or she would take, and then I take, but then I, she couldn't. I like this move. Bishop goes here, attacking the knight. Okay, now I I could go here, attacking this bishop. Wait, what? No, no, no. <laughs> I can't go here, because this bishop takes. Let's say first take with the bishop, and then occupy the center. But then once she marries the bishop, she can always take back with her queen, so she doesn't have to double her pawns. This is all great thinking, but nothing too significant. But, you know, at least we have fun. If I could trade the knight, then I could put pressure over here. And then she has too many pieces lined up to actually get the queen knight to defend it. Okay, I think I like that. Let's go here with the bishop. Okay, now we take. And what I want to do, I think I'm stupid. Well, guess we have to defend this now. Seems dangerous, she's putting pressure here. She takes, I take, then the rook is attacking, but the rook can go here. And if I defend the pawn, is that necessary? That's a good question. I think the first move is to move the queen here, defend the pawn, then these rooks, then this pawn, and be fine with it, I think. And what if she goes here with the bishop? Then I have to move the queen again. So I should move her here from the very ice. Then she goes here, and she's attacking the queen again. So I think this is the move. Supporting the pawn, preventing the knight from moving, and yeah. Okay, now we get harass her queen, tag her like that, and then she'll have to move out of the way. And then I'll take the rook, she'll take the rook, and she has a rook on the open file, and I don't. I don't like that. I like to have a rook on the open file. Not too much to ask. What if I trade and take back with the bishop? Then I could get what? Some counter play on something? I think we can trade because I'm also connecting the rooks. Let's do that. Alright, I'll capture a queen. Okay, we're trading. Yes, okay, good. What is this move actually doing? What is this achieving? What's the point of this move? Why did she do that? That actually doesn't make any sense. I could go here, always targeting this pawn. So we just have to take. Is her bishop better than my rook? Well, than my knight. My knight is very much off to the side. We ain't close on any. Maybe I wouldn't like her to have the bishop there. But if I do take, because she just pushes, she gets a nice center, or she gets to double her rooks. This is not a beneficial move for me, I don't think. I'm the knight here, and there, and then what's the plan? I don't know. I just like the knight moves. <laughs> the knight moves in a funky way. Look, it's an L, it's an L. You can just make L's everywhere. L is what I'm going to have at the end of this game once I lose. At least I get the L's here. I think let's trade. Get the pawns up, and this pawn actually prevents this pawn from pushing. I think I'll trade. Oh, I see your threat. Okay, yes, we trade. And now what's the move? She does have it. Trading this pawn, which is fine. Well, it's not fine. Well, it's fine. Then I have doubled pawns again. Taking is not safe, because this she comes in with the knight, and she gets an attack on this. Defending could be interesting. 
Then she plays this and uh, what a double attack on the bishop, but I have two defenders, so it's fine. Uh, so I can play this move, and then this rook is not necessary to defend this bishop. Okay, let's go here. Okay, now she wants to push. Well then, that's not good. Better argument knight. Where does this knight go? Not to many places anyway. She just could go back, then she'd trade, but then she has rooks and um, open files, and I don't like that. I should get a rook on an open file myself. Let's go here. Okay, she decided to be aggressive, and I don't like your aggression. I think it's fine. I think that's a mistake, because I can take, and she takes, and then she does not have time for this move, because I get to push this and this, but then I don't ever get a double defense. What if she pushes here? Then I go here and here, and it's fine. Okay, let's go with a gun. We're playing a dangerous game, I'd say. It doesn't try, it doesn't get, as they say. Yeah, I knew that would happen. And now what? Now she's preparing to double. And she has two attackers, three on the square, and I only have one, two, three. Oh no, I guess I have to move with the king. Ah, now why are you doing this to me? Attack this rook, it's with tempo, and gets me time to move the king. Yes, let's do that. Wait, she's saying the spawn. Oh, bloody hell. I go here, I can go here. Better block the rooks from coming in with my knight. And then she push my rook here. Yeah, I think we can do that. That's if he's being very precise here. And I get to move the king here, I think. So that's fine. Yes. I get this rook move. And should be okay. So then I also get this move. Hey! That works. So where do I go? Here and here and here or here or there or here. Wait, this is an important move. This knight move might be my isolation. Go here. Attack two pieces. The king moves up. But then check and take. Interesting. Potentially interesting. Or I just go straight away over here. Don't want to give her the king move. She can't go here. You can't push the spawn. You can push these pawns here. But then I can go down. Okay, let's go like this. Oh, I can't go here because the bishop is sticky. Let's be precise. This is the precise move. I believe in it. With all my heart, I'm... Never mind. I'm actually missing these things. This is not good. Well, now I have to reconsider. Take the pawn. What's the worst that can happen? Go here. She just defends like this. Get to push. I get to take and trade. And she gets this pawn in the end, and that's not good. No, she doesn't. But she's here. End games versus bots. Oh, is a very stupid idea. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go here. Safe? I don't know. Interesting? Definitely. Okay, she defended. That's not what I want. And then I push. She takes. I take. She takes. I take. Oh, I like this pawn. I can't like this pawn. This rook is always here. This rook has to come back to defend. This rook has to earn its keep, as they say. But I don't really know where it's going. Because it doesn't have any good squares. Once it's here, it can't go here, or here, or here, or here. It's actually useless. I think I might have lost this rook. Okay, now she's just pushing. Now she's being very aggressive. What if I just push? Can I just push? I take? take. Oh no, because if I push, she pushes, and then I have to move away from the king, and then she takes. Okay, let's prevent this push then, this pawn move. Very well be weakening, but uh, it's not like I have many better options. Oh, this is an interesting move. So I'm taking the rook, then the rook has to move, and I get this pawn. She can just push. But then once she pushes, I can't do this, because she's just on passant. Damn French people and their stupid on passant. <laughs> well, I think let's stop this, and then hope for the best. Go here. Okay, I time make a mistake. I'm very strong position here. I don't see a way out for you. And I don't like this nonsense. I would prefer some positivity, as we say. Which way does the king go? The king goes here, check. There's a pawn. The king goes here instead. Check. I defend. Why is this pawn? The king goes. The king does not go there. There's a rook there. <laughs> I messed up with this rook being here. That's my mistake. So which pawn do I prefer to lose? Probably this one. Because there's, these pawns are further away than this one. So I have to go here and here. Am I inside the square? I go here. I'm still inside the square. Here. 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 Wait, no, because when I get. Pin by the ah no I get X right here not good well, none of this works none of this works I think she's right I don't think there's a way out for me well, I think I'm losing anyway so uh well we tried our best yes watch your king I kind of screwed and shuffled around but apart from that is there any kind of way at this point I expect there to be any kind of way at this point these are the difficult questions I have to content myself with I could go here she just pushes here pushes here pushes everywhere pushes I take she takes I take at least I have a little bit of coin to play. The smallest, tiniest amount. I think I have to sack. If I have any chance, it's by sack. Well, I don't have any chance. But at least, you know, try. Let's take this pawn, check her, and then what? I don't know, we'll work better in a second. Well, let's check. Okay, okay. Go here, try to take this pawn. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that was a stupid plan. Maybe it was no plan at all. <laughs> I can get the knight active. Well, I think I'm getting mated, but at this point, it doesn't matter. Go here, attack the spawn. Doesn't do anything, but you know, because then I get mated. Well, it was a nice game, and then it went downhill very quickly. GG!